I would kick your ass. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. So one of the greatest moments of the 2017 NBA Awards is when 83-year-old Bill Russell, 11-time NBA champion, pretty much pointed at five of the most dominating centers of all time, looked at them all straight in the eye and said, I would kick your guys' ass back in the day, man. So really wanted to put that theory to test. And really, this is just more of a discussion video to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on this subject. Uh, I'm curious guys, do you think Bill Russell would be able to dominate in the NBA today? Now I'm going to get into my point of view in a second here before I would do that. Um, I want to show you guys the roster here that we're dealing with. And also if you guys do me a quick favor, man, please drop a like on this video as it really does help the channel out very much. So yeah guys, we got Bill Russell on the current day Boston Celtics. Now it's no doubt the Celtics could use his rebounding and shot blocking ability as Al Horford. Um, for all the money he freaking makes out there, man, the boy could get like freaking two rebounds a game. Pisses me off. Uh, but we also have Jason Tatum on the team who was their third pick in the 2017 NBA draft. Um, Avery Bradley, who got freaking snubbed from the All-NBA defensive team. Did you guys hear that man, Chris uh, Chris Broussard, said the reason he did not vote for Avery Bradley was because Devin Booker dropped 70 points on him? Guess what, bitch-ass Chris Broussard? The boy did not even play that game. So I don't understand that. And then uh, Isaiah Thomas, of course. But yeah, guys, what we're going to do is simulate a season and see how uh, Bill Russell does on this team right here, man. This Boston Celtics current team. Now, I'm guessing with Bill Russell on this team, man, it's got to be a 60-win team. But of course, 2K is notorious for being a bitch-ass game at times. So we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, guys, let me just talk a bit about Bill Russell here. So really what made Bill Russell great back in the uh, you know 50s and 60s when he played is that he was kind of a player before his time. He was a player that... Um, you know, the game of basketball, it wasn't really that popular back then. I mean, it was still like, I was still developing into a, a sport and everything. So, uh, basically it was a whole bunch of these, you know, I don't, I don't want to sound racist or nothing, but it was a whole bunch of like white dudes out there and whatnot. And, uh, I mean, yeah, man, they had the fundamentals down. They could make their layups, but then Bill Russell came on the scene, man. This boy absolutely freaking dominated. I mean, he was just like this freak of nature athlete. He was like six, nine, six, to ten, uh, six, nine, six, ten, just pure muscle. And he would throw your shit back, man. You come in the paint, man. He, you, you please believe, man. Bill Russell was going to throw it back. So he was really a player before his time. But now, man, you, you, you fast forward to today's NBA. And, well, who are the dominating centers in the NBA? You got DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, I mean, it's really hard to even name a lot of them, man. Because it's, su it's such a dying breed. Because the NBA is transitioning straight up into small ball. I mean, it's that's you go the Golden State Warriors are proving that's how you win basketball these days is by going small. I mean, you have all these centers that are adapting to the three-point game. Um, you don't really see a lot of the back to the basket type of players anymore. And Bill Russell, man, it's like while I think he would do really well in today's NBA, um, I don't think he's gonna win eleven championships. That's just such a freak of nature number to win. Um, I, th I can't even like fathom that, man. Like we're thinking about like yo, you know, LeBron James is three and four in NBA Finals. Okay, so being in seven NBA Finals is absolutely crazy. Bill Russell won 11 NBA championships. So, I don't know, man. It's just hard to think about. But, but really, like, just back then in the 50s and 60s, um, of course, sports medicine wasn't really as far along as it is today, obviously. But I think what made Bill Russell great, and I think what would make him great today, is really, man, you got to think of him from this standpoint. JaVel McGee is a freaking nature athlete. I mean, he was in a dunk contest years ago. He was dunking like two basketballs and two separate basketball hoops. It was crazy. So why is he dominating? Because Bill Russell, while he is physically gifted, he's also mentally tough. I mean, playing in that era in the 50s and 60s where racism was, you know, really high. I mean, I don't know if it was at its all-time high because, I mean, there's so many horrible things with uh, racism and slavery in the past. But just, we, I mean, it was obviously at a bad point of time even so. So really, Bill Russell is this public figure. I mean, he's, dom he's dominating basketball, but also off the court, he's going through all of these, uh, you know, all these other issues. And obviously, man, you know, racism is still a part of life today. And it's still, you know, this, we're still far away from where we, need to, where we need to be as a nation. But yeah, guys, so Bill Russell on this team, 64 and 17. Um, would he dominate like this? Well, I'm curious what kind of numbers he puts up. He might, will he get MVP? Give the boy MVP. Come on, man. Okay, Russell Westbrook still gets MVP. But man, this is a good point right here. If Russell Westbrook played back in the freaking 50s, can you imagine that? Can you imagine, like, this player right here, Russell, what he's doing is absolutely crazy. 42 triple doubles. I mean, 34.5 points per game. I knew it was 2K, but it's somewhat similar to that. Um, 
going up against all those unathletic men back in the day, dude. All those guys that was just out there like, like, what the hell's a basketball? And it's like, oh, okay, this is kind of fun. Like, oh my God, Russell would freaking just kill him, man. He was absolutely kill it. So we do got Bill Russell, defensive player of the year. Makes sense. Looks like point-wise, 15 points and 16 rebounds. Um, Was never like, I mean, I'm sure he's had his games, no doubt, but it's not really known for his offense. It was always his defense. So yeah, 3.4 blocks, 1.5 steals. I have no reason to believe why he couldn't do that in today's NBA. He didn't make all the NBA first team, by the way. So, yeah, man, he's going to show that, yeah, man, I don't care what era it is. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to kick your, he, you know, he's, he's going to point at the Wizards. He's going to point at the Cleveland Cavaliers. He's going to say Warriors. He's going to say, I will kick your ass, man. Uh, but, yeah, I, I just I, I just love Bill Russell from, like, him as, like, a pillar of the game of basketball. Uh, no better man to do it. But you look at the uh, stats here. Of course, Isaiah Thomas, I mean, he's just a great scorer himself, 28 points per game. Um, that's why I think this would definitely work because even Jason Tatum is known to fill up the basketball hoop. I guess I should say, man, at least in college. Uh, NBA, I guess that still remains to be seen. We'll see about that. But yeah, uh, Bill Russell, not Russell Westbrook, Bill Russell, different Russell, still a beast player. Uh, just some great numbers here. And yeah, not really ever really a great free throw shooter, but only shoot a lot of them either, which is kind of surprising. You feel like he'd be bodying people up. But yeah, guys, we do have playoffs. Let's simulate this real quick, see how it does out here. So first round, we do have the Washington Wizards. Simulate current round against John Wall, see what we can do. And, all right, got them four games to one. Four games to one. Uh, Bill Russell, 14 points, 16 rebounds, five assists, five blocks. But you see, he only shot seven times. And I I, I hate to say this, guys. I hate to say it. Please don't, Sam. Please don't think that I'm comparing him to this player. But, Dan, do we hear about, like, his style of play, that's kind of like what like a Clint Capella does for the Houston Rockets. Am I right? Like, Clint Capella's 80 overall player, man. He's a decent center. But he has chop blocking and rebounder. He takes a few shots a game close to the basket and makes them. So I just feel like that's the style of basketball that Bill Russell would bring in today's NBA. I'm not saying he's goddamn Clint Capella, but just that style. All right, next round, we got the New York Knicks who upset the Milwaukee Bucks four games to two. Simulate current round. See, so yeah, don't lose to the goddamn Knicks. Oh, my God, Phil Jackson. I was about to say, dude. All right, closeout game. We got uh, Bill Russell way down here, one for three shooting, but 15 rebounds, six assists, and three blocks. I'm one for three shooting. So, once again, didn't shoot a lot. Didn't really need to, especially on this team. All right, Toronto Raptors who upset the Cleveland Cavaliers in seven games. Simulate current round. See how this goes. And we got them four games to close out game. We got Bill Russell. Oh, my God, dude. Put up that 22 rebounds and eight assists. And I actually, guys, I did not know Bill Russell had the passing like that. I didn't know he was that, you know, that great a passer. I guess looking at his stats here, it's kind of funny. 64, 65, then it jumps to 16, 17. Oh my god, guys, look at those rebounding numbers. This is absolutely crazy. And really, a scoring is right there with what it was. But man, always a good passer, man, shot block wise. I guess, oh yeah, they didn't really record blocks back then, did they? So who knows how many blocks he actually had? How y'all not gonna record blocks, man? Somebody do your goddamn bitch ass job. All right, San Antonio Spurs. Similarly, current round. And well, we beat the San Antonio Spurs four games, three in seven games. We got Bill Russell winning the finals MVP. Looking at all, saw on the eye, man, said, I will kick your ass. He just did it, man. 11 points, 15 rebounds, 7 assists, 4 blocks a game in the NBA Finals. So, hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Uh, leave me your thoughts on Bill Russell in the comment section below. Such a great pillar for the game of basketball. And uh, so much respect for what he's done back in the day, man. Peace out, my friends.